Humans invent a technology that allows them to transfer their minds into the bodies of other creatures. One such technology controls monsters in wrestling matches. In these matches, humans inject their consciousness into the bodies of various monsters. Sunny is a soul warrior and one of the few contestants in the monster arena. The owner of the Colosseum operates in the dark. The owner finds Sunny and he wants Sunny to lose tonight's match. As compensation, Dick is willing to put up half a million dollars for Sunny, who box. Sunny's companion accuses Dick of not trying to solve everything with money. One year ago, Sonny was violated by the gangsters. The other party not only humiliated him but also left irreparable scars on his face. The flesh-eating beast controlled by Sonny slowly walked out of the iron cage. He was slender and agile with a sharp pointy knife at his tail. The opponent taunted Sonny while sending out his monster with heavy armor like a tank. The carnivore was undaunted by such a powerful opponent extending its sharp claws. It lashed out with attacks that did no damage to the thick skin monster. The carnivore threw its tail and threw the velociraptor against the wall, just as he leaps for the kill shot. The velociraptor recognizes it and grabs the carnivore's tail and throws it against the wall. The velociraptor swings his iron fist again and sends the carnivore to the ground. The velociraptor attacks the carnivore again splitting its tail into four and leaping up to avoid the carnivore's attack. The velociraptor loses its balance under the carnivore's attack, exposing a hole in its back. The carnivore rips off the arm of the raptor after a series of attacks, however. This does not do much damage to the raptor. The torn arm reveals a bone blade, and the sharp edge of the carnivore's tail is severed, leaving the raptor defenseless against the next attack. It reminded Sunny of that night one year ago when he was defenseless, not anymore. In the end Sonny won the night. Sonny returned to his place Dick's female companion Lena came up to him and spoke words of adoration with admiration. After a bit of seduction, Sonny Sham was most in a tender spot. Lena suddenly turned on her face and turned her fingers into spikes and stabbed Sonny's head right through the chin. Dick sneered and walked in. Just when Dick and Lena were complacent, Suddenly came Sonny's voice, one year ago Sonny's physical body had died. His companion implanted his consciousness into the flesh-eating beast. In the end Sonny managed to kill back.